Victoria's opposition has announced a bold pitch to lower the driving age in the state to 17. Julia Bradley is in the marginal seat in, of Benambra, which is on the border with New South Wales. Julia, talk us through the pledge you have heard from Matthew Guy today. What's he promising? So Matthew Guy has said that if he's elected to government this coming Saturday, he would in fact lower the driving age to 17. So that would mean that young adults here in Victoria, they'd still be able to get their learner's licence at the age of 16, but it would be that P plate that's lowered. So instead of waiting until the age of 18, it will be lowered to 17 in line with other states and territories. And Matthew Guy made this announcement while touring the marginal seat of Benambra, which is here on Victoria's border with New South South Wales. This is his penultimate day of a regional tour. This is a seat that's a really hotly contested one. It's only held on a margin of 2.6%. It's a traditional conservative heartland. Bill Tilley for the Liberal Party has held it since 2006, but it is under a threat from an independent by the name of Jackie Hawkins. She ran back in 2018 and she's running again. Now, another big issue here, Ash, is health and hospital funding. Labor have promised to tip more than $500 million into upgrading the Aubrey based hospital, but the opposition say that's not good enough and they want to build a brand new hospital here. They've committed $300 million to that project and they're asking both the New South Wales government and the federal government to match that. No, I am not speaking to other governments until I become a government and we're hoping that's on Saturday. We've put our money on the table. It's clear and unambiguous. I asked Matthew Guy as well whether he's been buoyed by this new poll that's come out, a Redbridge poll published in the Herald Sun suggesting that the Labor Party could lose up to a dozen seats this election. The suggestion is that Labor may be able to form minority government but won't be able to form government in its own right. And there are suggestions about whether there would be a deal done between Labor and the Greens. I asked Matthew Guy which seats he's hopeful of snatching from Labor. Well, I don't want to go through a list. There's many of them. I'd like to win them all. Um, but look, we are focused. We are determined. We've got a positive vision for our state. And I can't be clearer. Places like Benambra, we've got to keep, build, change the government and build a new hospital. So this seat of Benambra, really a must win for the Liberal Party, one that they're really keen to sandbag ahead of Saturday. I can tell you that over 13,000 people here in this electorate have already either early voted or postal voted ahead of Saturday, Ash. Julia Bradley, live there for us. Thank you.